Hi, welcome to another one of our videos and today I'm going to be looking at the scapula and a couple of exercises which I've discussed many, many times before. Um, but I want to sort of show you um, and, and actually give you a little video to see the scapula motion in, in play. Uh, I've got Melissa here showing us um, her scapula because she actually has the wing scapula that you can actually see here quite quite pronounced um, and really sticking out the back there. So it's basically from a side on view, her scapula is not sitting flat on her spine, it should be sitting really flat. You wouldn't be able to see it poking out the back like little shark fins, as in this case. Now when she goes to move, um, this is where um, neck pain, and also you can actually see here like uh, quite easily how, how easily her um, shoulders are quite depressed, it really struggles with overhead movements, quite strong through push-ups and things like that, but and the overhead things is where she finds the real problem, especially with the right side. And you can see it's a little bit more depressed than the left one. So here's an example of the serratus anterior wall slides. Now I'm going to play a, a scapular video here um, that you can see running in real time in, in, to give you an idea of the posterior tilt and then the, the upward rotation. So that before um, Melissa would move, in this point here, the, pos the posterior tilt of the scapula should be sitting nice. And you can see with this foam roller how, how already the scapula has uh, stopped winging because she's, cause she's pushing into the wall. Um, there's already an engagement of the serratus anterior and, and that is, begins to flatten out. So the scapula sort of, instead of diving in and, and retracting through these rhomboids and everything in there, it's already starting to come out wide and then it's sitting in this posterior tilt to begin with and then it drives the upward rotation as her arms go up the wall. So, and you'll see on the little skeleton that I'll play at the same time in the bottom right hand corner there how that scapula should look when you're lifting your arms. It's not the exact same wall slides movement but the idea of the arm lifting up and being the humerus being, so the humerus, your arm bone, being assisted by this scapula that's that's sitting here in guiding the arm up so that that there's plenty of space here for the shoulder to not impinge itself. All right, so this is quite a, a an excellent exercise to, to learn. You can see there's a bit of an imbalance there and where she just doesn't quite fully um, finish the movement. Now we'll ask her to and also you can see how her arms are widening out then. And I'll ask her on the next one to, to really come right up. And you'll see how her strategy to do this will be to really dive into her neck. Um, and, then, and go into a full, see how that, all right, see that. And now you can quite easily see this tension going here that she lost the upward rotation. All right, so her strategy to try and get this was to just dive over and over the, into the neck, all right, where she still needs to release through the lats and get the serratus anterior and the lower trapezius and the upper traps to some degree all working together as a team to provide this nice rotation, all right. Um, and that's one of the challenges that she will always face with the overhead movements to, to not get this pinching through the neck. All right, so she should be able to get in a nice, clean manner instead of diving into the neck all the time. Now, a couple of the exercises that I use with her to, or she uses to um, to correct it. And this one's another good one. This is a bit difficult to see here because um, of the light. I might just sort of fast forward to the other bit, to the around the other side, and you'll see better. So, in this position with the barbell like this. You can see here, if you remember from before, like how easy it was to see that scapula. You can see now it's dead flat. You, you can't see it at all because the barbell has pushed her hand out. All right, so she's, she's requiring no effort from her shoulder muscles or the scapula for that degree to get her arm into this position, which is called scaption. So we're actually using the barbell to create the upward rotation and, and then with her good posture, with her giving her cue stand tall, we get the posterior tilt at the same time with no effort. 
Now, this is where if someone has the trouble with the overhead movement, can really build the strength up into the upper traps that are lacking by doing some sort of simple shrugs. The beauty of this exercise is that we've got the scapula set in the perfect position, as opposed to if they were just doing the shrug um, going straight up, then you'll see how there'll be that real sort of neck pinching and, and, and how quickly the scapula winging returns when... If I just go back, you can sort of see the scapula sort of pinching out again, where when we come out here, we don't see that at all. It's nice and free. Um, you know, it's quite a sort of a strange movement in some, right, some ways, but a great way of, of sort of getting the, uh, the things that, that she's lost in this position of standing where it's just not sitting and the, and the shoulders are always depressed. Now, the last one would be the push-up. And again, everything with that scapular motion should happen in this just like the other ones and you see retraction at the bottom and then protraction at the top and you know and she's very aware of of using this exercise all the time to get that and this is really gives you a really good feel and see how how much they spread she's really forcing that because if she was going to do what feels natural to her she would actually stop right there all right and then there's that little sort of ridge that you'll see in people's on their back, all right. Where if we let her finish it, you'll see how much it moves then, all right. And then, and then it's right over here on those where that board is sort of sitting down there. And once again, there's the serratus anterior wrapping the rib cage again, all right. So um, there's a couple of exercises, but really, hopefully, I could you could get the idea of how the scapula is actually moving in these positions and how important the pushing pattern is uh, for, for getting it back is where and the danger of scapular retraction people always trying to squeeze their shoulders together and pull them down working external rotators but really losing control of the serratus anterior and the scapular function you really need to get it back overhead movements as well like people really avoiding them thinking oh it's going to make my neck sore my shoulder sore and it probably will if you don't have good mechanics but but if over time, if you leave, like anything, if you don't strengthen it, it'll get really weak, and it gets really weak, it'll develop trigger points, um, just because it can't handle any any load. Just even you standing up in posture, it can't even handle that. So your solution is to really find ways to make it move well, and then strengthen it uh, relative to to its opposite uh, movements of pulling and and pulling down, especially. So uh, people are very good at pulling things down, but horrible at doing things up. So. I hope this video has helped you and uh, see you on the next one.